New research shows you may want to reach for another cup of coffee. Oh, good. And a warning for those who take cholesterol-lowering drugs. CBS 2's Lisa Siegel is here now with today's Health Watch. Where's the cup of coffee? I know, I know. Aren't we excited about that? Hi, you too. Hi, everyone. But first, millions of Americans take medication to keep their cholesterol in check. But some people use it as a free pass to eat whatever they want. A study in the journal JAMA Internal Medicine looked at nearly 30,000 people over 10 years and found people using cholesterol-lowering drugs eight more and actually gained weight. Study author Dr. Martin Shapiro says while the drugs work well, there is more to preventing heart disease than just lowering cholesterol. If your cholesterol is normal, you might perceive that uh, you don't have as much of an incentive to uh, watch what you eat. Taking medications should not be a substitute for trying to uh, live one's life healthfully without them. Millions of Americans are on statins. Under recent guidelines, a third of adults in the U.S. might benefit from taking them. Okay, good news for coffee drinkers. As we said, drinking more seems to lower the risk of diabetes. Harvard researchers say people who drank an additional one and a half cups of coffee daily over a four-year period reduce their risk by 11%. It's a new way to help prevent medical infections, and it's happening right here in a local hospital. At Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center, this machine essentially zaps bacteria before and after a patient's in a room. Ultraviolet light disinfects germs. It's used along with other cleaning methods. Now between two and 440,000 people die from hospital errors every year, some of those infections. And finally tonight on Health Watch, some people are afraid of bees. For others, they are the best medicine. Come on, sting me. Go for it. Tonight at 11, what some call a miracle treatment is now going mainstream and you may benefit if you have pain, especially arthritis. Bee sting therapy and the new bee medicine that could be on the market. It's a story you'll only see on CBS2 tonight at 11. Enough bee puns? Yeah. Bee. Leave. <laughs> oh. <laughs>